Rootstock Cider and Spirits opened in Williamson and Wayne County about 10 years ago. They make spirits from the apples they grow on the family farm. But today they announced they're closing. Dan Gross went there today to learn what went into this family decision. Right in front of DeFisher Family Farms is Rootstock Cider and Spirits. It took a couple different forms to start, but General Manager Luke DeFisher says it had a clear goal when the distillery opened about 10 years ago. Making distilled spirits using fruit that we grow right on our farm. In that time, they went from their classic cider. It tastes super fruity and delicious. It's got this wonderful apple flavor but it also incorporates these really cool hard cider flavors too. To crafty creations and a local legend, Applejack. Which drinks like a whiskey, but it's made from apples. And I can't tell you when we opened how many people had so many stories to tell about this, this type of drink. But like all good things, Rootstock is coming to an end. DeFisher says this was a family decision. He adds that a few years of financial hardship made the family considerate but the catalyst was this year's late frost. When you have a really bad frost, that can damage that very sensitive tissue and it won't produce an apple that year. Um, for a farm of our size, that meant losing up to 85% of our crop. They'll stop production by the end of July. In the meantime, Fisher says this. Such a pleasure to work for these customers uh, and, and just to be able to serve them in so many different ways. So I just want to say to all of our customers, thank you so much for everything you've done for us. Please come out and visit us one last time. Take a little piece of history with you uh, and let's celebrate everything that we've done. Bar service ends in the tasting room in Williamson July 30th. You can buy packaged goods there, however, until September 1st. Rootstock and their distributors also have a handful of back inventory, so you still might see it on shelves for a little bit now.